So I'm going for a first to find attempt right now. Is that a place that I've uh, I've attempted a first to find before? It's a very close, and I've recorded it, so you might remember the place if you've seen my previous videos. It's um it's kind of over by Napa, so I'm going over there, and I'll see if I'm first. It published a couple hours ago, so I don't know if it's been found or not. But there's no logs on it yet online, so we'll see. I'll let you know when I get there if I'm first or not. So I'm driving over there, and not this car ahead of me. There's a, an SUV, like four or five cars up. I have no idea what he's doing. He's like, he'll slam on his brakes, and then pull off to this side of the road, let a car pass him, and then like take off and jump back in traffic again. And then he did that once. And then we were coming through an intersection which has a turning lane. And he just pulled off to the side and like accelerated in the turning lane and like went into the dirt on the side of the road to pass the car that he like stopped and got behind. I don't know what he's doing. He's just driving stupid. But anyway. See you later. There's the truck. And I'm at the area. You can see some marsh out there. Some bridges. Yeah. It's a pretty cool place. The place I was at before was actually way over there. They've opened up the roads so you can actually drive out here. But anyway, I found it. So let's check if I'm first to find. tell yet. Open up the log book. Look at that. Blank. Yes, first to find. Three, nine, twelve. That's cool. At what time? Nice. The last time I was here, this gate over here was closed, and I had to walk down that direction. Yeah. Remember when I parked my bike right in this little driveway area? I walked down that path. A little while ago, I did a video about how to install HID headlights and I demonstrated how to install them up here. Today, I uninstalled my HID because, for one, I was reading up on them and if you don't have a projector uh, housing, which I don't, I have just a regular reflector, no, uh, no projector housing, um, they're kind of illegal to have because the HIDs the output pattern of the bulb is different than of a standard halogen, so it doesn't reflect correctly, and it uh, it makes it really bright for drivers coming at you. You've probably seen that people who put HIDs in without projectors, and it's just a really really bright light. The projectors will focus it and shine it down on the street rather than going everywhere. So. I didn't have one of those so for one it's illegal the other thing is to get the power to work right I'd have to like tap my start button to get the power to work and then have to wait for the light to warm up and then I could start it if I just start it normally the HID wouldn't always come on and then I don't have a headlight so yeah there's ways you can get around that with relays to uh, make it delay so you start the bike and then five seconds later the light comes on but uh, they don't make 
projector housings that fit in there. You have to like custom make them and take the whole headlight and cut it up. And I didn't really want to do all that. So I just put a standard halogen light back in there and I took the HIDs out. So that's what I did today. An another thing I did today. Look how green the grass is now. It's that time of year again. So I wanted to make some potato skins for lunch. And these looked really good. I mean, look at them. They look so good. But I opened the box and I put them out and look at what they look like. No comparison. I mean, look, it's just like a dot of cheese. It's ridiculous. That's what they give me. And that's what they say they give me. Liars. It's okay. I'll make it better myself. Much better. Time to throw them in the oven. 450. These things are fun to play with. That was Philly. It's good. Just driving. 